Hello friends. Today we will provide you with information about the life of Bayezid I, also known as Yildirim Bayezid. Enjoy watching. Yildirim Bayezid was born in 1360 in Edirne. His father was Murad Hudavendigar, and his mother was Gulsishek Hatun. He spent his childhood in Bursa Palace with his siblings. He received a good education and took lessons from the greatest scholars of the time. In his youth, he served as the governor of the Kutaya Starboard. In accordance with the will of Sultan Murad Hudavendigar, he ascended to the throne in 1389. When he took the throne, he was 29 years old. In 1385, there is mention in Ottoman histories of the suppression of a rebellion led by his brother Seizada Savci Bey, who had joined forces with the Byzantine heir Andronikos Palaiologos. As a result of the suppression of the rebellion, Seizada Savci was killed and his eyes were gouged out. In 1389, he participated in the First Battle of Kosovo against a crusader army largely composed of Serbs. He commanded the right wing of the Ottoman army, displaying great heroism in battle. Under his leadership, the Ottoman right wing launched a decisive counterattack, contributing significantly to the Ottoman victory by breaking the Serbian army. After his father, Sultan Murad, was killed by a Serbian nobleman named Milos Obilic at the end of this battle, he ascended to the Ottoman throne through the collective decision of the state dignitaries. In 1396, Bayezid I besieged Istanbul for the third time, but was unsuccessful. In 1400, prompted by the Byzantine Emperor's attempt to organize a new crusade in European countries, Bayezid I laid siege to Istanbul for the fourth time. However, the siege was lifted when Timur entered Anatolia. Yildirim Bayezid was defeated and captured by Timur in the Battle of Ankara. After a reign that lasted for 13 years, he died seven months and 12 days into his captivity. Following his death, the Ottoman state entered a period of interregnum known as the Fetre d'Evry. Yildirim Bayezid's body was temporarily interred in the mausoleum of Seyyid Mahmoud Hayrani in Aksehir. However, upon the order of Timur, who was impressed by Musa Celebi during his return to Samarkand, Musa Celebi was instructed to take the remains of Yildirim Bayezid and bring them to Bursa. According to some sources, Musa Celebi brought the corpse to Bursa and buried it in the mausoleum next to the Yildirim Mosque. Other accounts suggest that Musa Celebi brought the mummified body of his father to Kutaya under the control of Jermianid Yakub Bey, where it was kept hidden. In 1404, Celebi Mehmed brought the remains to Bursa and buried them in the mausoleum. The details might vary in different historical accounts. Timur and the Battle of Ankara will be the subject of our next video. You're welcome. Thank you for watching.